the, the, the bottom example here, we get people all the time, hey, do you have a credit card? Well, what's the percentage rate that that credit card uses? Would you like a credit card that has a lower percentage rate, right? We know exactly where they're going and often we want to tune it out. So if we can use the ask in a more thoughtful way or get them to be thinking about themselves in a more inspirational way, the ask can be a very powerful tool. Any thoughts on that one? Yeah, it's a challenging one to, to implement. Cool. Yeah. So, so then you don't want to ask well, are you asking when you actually have an answer, or are you asking actually to see what they want? Well, I think that's a good point, Joan. And I think as an influencer, right, we want to influence. So there may be a bit of both, right? I think you have to be open to the idea that we may hear an answer that we don't get. And that's why having a multiple influencing strategy, like having multiple tactics, because once that goes off the rails, right, we have to be able to use a different influencing tactic because clearly that one's not going to work. And so being open to hearing the answer, even when it's not one we want to hear, then come back and find out, okay, now how do I go at this? Make sense? Great. And then finally, the feel good. This is probably the one I use a lot. This is the one that comes up to the person and says, you look like George Clooney today. <laughs> <laughs> not yesterday. Not yesterday. Or, boy, that accent can really get you anywhere, I bet, right? It sets a tone for the person. Who else, does anyone else in this room feel like they're natural feel-getters? No? Probably. Pro yeah. Yeah, I bet you are. I do it unnaturally. Like, I just get compliment people. And I'm like, by the way, come on. <laughs> so, so do you think that's an interesting tactic? So do you feel like, are you setting them up with a compliment to get what you want? No. I don't no? feel like I'm doing that, but like, in my she job as a software developer, <laughs> I feel like I can compliment someone on how awesome they, their email is. For, yeah. It's a funny email. Yeah. I feel like, you know, if you say, hello, I think your email, your email made me laugh, or hello from San Diego, it's mm -hmm. beautiful here, how's the weather? I feel like, if I'm leading in with something that's gonna make them smile, they're gonna to want to read the rest of my email. Interesting. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Subconsciously. Yeah. But I really just want to be polite. But you really just want to. And that is that your so, natural tone? I mean, are you just that kind of that kind of person of just work? Work? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it could also be manipulative too. Mm -hmm. I decided I was trying to be polite so I could get something out. Right. And look at that. Each one of these that we've talked about have a manipulative side to this. The field step to create. I just, right? She, just stood, she, yeah. she stood over here and she knew like she wasn't going to put in those, in those shoes, right? Walk in the line. And yet we all do that. We can all do that of, yeah. of comp complimenting for a purpose in my head of I want to get something from someone and so I'm just going to set up a good tone or a good energy or, you know, say something nice and hopefully that that will happen. Now there's a law of reciprocity too, right? If I, if that niceness happens, usually we'll hear the niceness back and that also sets a tone, right? Of once we have this relationship now, we're all nice to each other. Right. I think the feel good one is scary because if you are actually a jerk and you try to feel good, it's not going to go well for you. No, yeah. You have to be congruent with your own personality. Great certainly. point, Penny. Yeah. If all of a sudden, if you've been a jerk, all of a sudden, all yeah. of a sudden you come in, good morning, everyone. Yeah. Wonderful. Sorry. Bless you. Do <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you can read yeah. through that really quickly? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try all something else. Right. Yeah. I think that's a really <laughs> great point. Like making sure that that's a congruent with who you are for that personality. Wonderful. So how about I have you all stand up and you're going to face, let's, let's line you up this way. So if you're here, you're going to be on this end. You'll be right here. Uh, you'll be right here and you guys will be a pair. Great. Now here is what we're going to try out. Yes. Uh, Right? 
going to be real hard. I really think we should take a vacation. One minute, one minute. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, friends. Like, you can get us and I'm going to try to get you. Go to the right on that exam here. We can actually use our miles. We're going to be up there. And we're going to like this. You can get an upgrade to the first class. Just for one of us, we thought maybe you could take that ticket. And then from there, we have a free place to stay with the Aunt June. And I think it'd be wonderfully educational for the kids. Happy birthday. 20 seconds. <laughs> if I showed you some statistics <laughs> about no, dirty dishes and friends, number five, four, say it on India. Two minutes, Barry can set up and we can all 
bathrooms if we need. Mm -hmm. So Seth, you said something the other day. Um, you said uh, this quote I often use, which is that I have more time. Oh, it's fine. I think I've learned from you on several times.